Everyone loves using TikTok, but a few things are annoying about it, like the constant ads on the timeline, the random live streams, and all the sketchy data collection they do. Well, you can stop all this BS and get a few extra advantages with TikTok Mod. It's the same TikTok app, but a lot better. It removes all the ads, live streams, and data collection, and it doesn't even require you to log in to start watching. But you can if you want. Plus, you can do many other cool things, like change your region to start watching content from different parts of the world, customize your For You page to only show you videos that have a minimum number of views or likes so that you always get quality content. Bring back the Discover button instead of the Friends tab to see what's trending. You get a new auto scroll button when you long press the screen so that your timeline scrolls by itself each time a video finishes, which is amazing if your hands are busy. The list goes on and on. The best part is that TikTok mod doesn't require root, you don't need to use the Shizuku app or an ADB command, and you don't need to pay anything. At the end of the video, I'll even show you how to install it and get it properly working. Instagram is another social media app that I love using. Still, all of its ads in the timeline and stories has driven me nuts, so I now use Instander to clean it up. It's still the same Instagram app with the same features and same looking UI, but with a few added perks. Like it lets you disable the ads, it lets you download any posts and stories, you can turn off red receipts and live typing within your DMs only on your end so that your friends never know that you've read their messages, and the same thing goes for stories and live streams that you joined. You can watch them anonymously. When uploading any photo or video, they'll have way better quality and not be compressed like what Instagram usually does. You can add a following indicator within anyone's profile so that you can figure out if they're following you back or not. You can enable mono theming so that everything matches the colors of your wallpaper. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. The list of features found inside Instander is insane. Plus, just like the TikTok mod, Instander doesn't require root. Shizuku, or ADB, or any other app to get it working. You just download it from this repository, and once you install it, you're good to go. Now I know some of you may be concerned about whether or not all of these mods are safe to use, and I'll be honest, I can't guarantee that they're 100% safe, especially since some of them are closed source, like the TikTok mod or Instander. But almost all of these have been used by hundreds of thousands of people for many years, and I haven't seen anyone experience any problems with their accounts or data. I, I've been using it for a while too, and I haven't seen any problems either. Plus, almost all these apps have multiple Telegram channels for open communication with other users and devs, so if anything fishy was going on, we would have already found out by now. And if you're still worried about your data, I mean, it couldn't be worse than what Facebook Meta or TikTok already does with it. Just saying. Snapchat is not as easy to modify, but once you do, you'll get features you never even thought were possible. The best mod out there for it is Snap Enhance. It has so many unique features that lets you do things like open snaps or messages without letting the other person know. Even if you're inside a conversation, you'll be invisible because you can hide your bitmoji and remove the typing indicator so that no one knows you're responding. You can remove the time limit when viewing snaps. Of course, it'll also let you block all the ads, let you download any stories or snaps you receive without notifying the other person, replace the spotlight screen with the older Discover page to find people you know, and a lot more. The possibilities are endless with this mod, and when you enable it, you can find those extra perks by tapping on this new gear icon in the top right corner of the chat page. But as I said at the beginning, it's not as easy to install, because Snap Enhance is an Expose module. Typically, to use Expose modules, you have to be rooted and use the LSPOS app. But there is a loophole to get it working on any non-rooted device. The way to do that is by using LS Patch. Now getting LS Patch to work is a whole different tutorial on its own, but I did make it back in August within another video. So if you want to learn how to get Snap Enhance properly working on your non-rooted device, click the eye in the top right corner or find the video link in the description. X, formerly known as Twitter, also has the same issue where it's not as easy to mod but there are still some ways to tweak it around. The first is to use Revance Manager. This one is a fan favorite because it's basically a huge repository that lets you modify almost any app out there. You just hop into the Patcher tab, select an application you'd like to modify. In this case, we're doing X. Then if you're not rooted, it may let you know that you need to download the APK because Revance Manager can't handle split APKs unless you're rooted. 
So you can download the latest Stable X version from APK Mirror and then select it within Revent. Afterward, it'll show you all the different patches that will be implemented inside the app. Once you hit patch, it'll start the integration, and when it's done, you can install it and open it with all those new mods. The second alternative to modify Twitter, or X, is with Tweefucker. Now, it's not my top choice anymore, because it's been discontinued since June, and only works on some of the older Twitter versions, like version 10.1.0, released back in July. But it still works, and it's still a bit more powerful than the Revance Manager version. By simply long pressing on the X logo at the top, I get greeted by a plethora of extra features that I can enable. Like I can remove all the ads on the timeline, remove the annoying suggested users card, get rid of the video carousel and the banner within the search page, and more. Cleans up the app really well, and sure some features don't work anymore, like the one that lets you download videos within posts, but not every feature is broken. Plus, even though you will need to use an older version of X, there aren't many differences in looks or features. X still looks pretty much the same as it did back in June. The biggest string though is that just like Snap Enhance, Tweefucker is an Expos module. So you'll also need to use Ellis Patch to get it to work on your non-rooted device. Again, the tutorial for that is in the cards or in the description. Now with all these social media accounts and any websites you use, Having the same password for all of them is like leaving all your doors unlocked. If one gets breached, they all become vulnerable. But I know that remembering every unique password can get tricky, so that's why I always tell people to turn to a password manager. And recently, my go-to has been Keeper Security, the sponsor of this video. It's the most secured, certified, tested, and audited password manager in the world. I mean, everything you store inside Keeper is fully encrypted without anyone being able to access your information. Not even Keeper staff can look into your vault. Only you can. And Keeper doesn't just let you store your passwords. You can also add your credit cards, licenses, passports, or other important files. And when the time comes to log into a website or app, Keeper automatically fills in your login details with a simple tap, freeing you from needing to remember your passwords ever again. It's also not a bad gift idea. With the holidays coming up, maybe you can give your parents or loved ones a Keeper Password Manager subscription so that they can stop asking for the Netflix password. If you're interested, you can get half off personal and family plans with promo code HOWTOMAN. I'll leave the link at the top of the description. I'm sure a solid number of you are also using Telegram, and of course I have some great options for that too. Plus, unlike the other social media apps, Telegram has a ton of third-party clients that you can choose from. You have Nicogram, Owlgram, Catogram, Nico. But my new favorite has been Exterogram. It's the newest out of the bunch, but it has some significant advantages over the others. For instance, it shows you what you're modifying within the settings with neat illustrations. That way, you're not left there wondering what you just changed. It supports dynamic theming, so the colors within Exterogram match the colors of your wallpaper, you just need to go into the settings, chat settings, browse themes, and scroll to the end to find mod up lights or dark themes. It also provides you with an improved camera system for certain phones to take better quality shots. It lets you change the double tap actions for incoming and outgoing messages, add a new secret chat for any of your contacts, and have a conversation self-destruct after a set amount of time. There's a lot more where that came from. The only downside is that it's not on the Play Store, but it is actively being updated on Telegram every month. And it'll even check for updates on its own within the app. Discord also has plenty of modded options, but the best one is Vendetta, because it's the most feature-packed and actively updated. Not only can you change the entire theme, but there are also a lot of useful plugins that you can use to improve the overall experience, all of which are also created by the community. You just join Vendetta's Discord page, and you should see the plugins and theme channels there. Some of my favorite plugins include favorite gifts to let me save any gifts that I come across to use later, compact mode to let me see a lot more messages at once, Spotify preview to get a 30 second preview of any song that people link with any conversation, clean URLs to remove the tracking parameters within any link and make them a lot shorter and cleaner, Hell, there's even a plugin to let you play Doom within the settings.
what you can do is pretty insane. And there are so many more plugins where that came from. And like I said, there are also a ton of themes. If you switch to the theme section within the Vendetta channel, you'll find a bunch to spice things up. I personally loved using Boltcon because it themes both the dark and light mode really well. To install a theme or plugin, just tap on a post, scroll to the top to find the first message, and there you should see a link to download it. Once you install it, you can double check if it's enabled by going into your account settings, and if you scroll down a bit, you should see two new menus called plugins and themes. In those menus, you can enable them or even configure them. A very powerful mod. For Reddit, there aren't too many options left since they basically nuked most of its third-party clients back in June, but you can use Rebass Manager to improve it. The patches that it comes with hide all of its ads, sanitizes the sharing links, meaning that it removes all of those unnecessary tracking parameters, disables the screenshot pop-up, and unlocks the premium Reddit icons. Still, if you're like me and can't stand the Reddit app, even with those extra mods, you can just turn to some of the few third-party alternatives left, like Relay for Reddit. The only downside is that it now requires you to get a paid subscription to use it, but I think it's worth it because it just makes Reddit a lot more user-friendly, removing all those unnecessary promoted posts and making everything feel less cluttered. I've also been using it for years and it hasn't disappointed. Facebook is probably the hardest social app to modify because I guess Mark is just too stubborn. I mean, there are a few scattered around the jungle, but I don't trust them enough. The only safe mod I can find is again using Rebats Manager to let me hide these story ads. Better than nothing. Facebook Messenger, on the other hand, has a fantastic mod called Messenger Pro. Let me show you. I can swipe inwards on the right edge of the screen to bring up this floating menu that lets me enable extra goodies that no one else has. You'll probably need to switch to the three button nav bar though, cause otherwise you won't be able to swipe in that hidden menu. So within this menu, you can enable message formatting to make any text, bold, italic, crossed out, underlined, and more. The other person in the other conversation can also see these changes without needing the mod. I just need to add these extra characters at the beginning and end of all the words I want to format. I can also prevent the scene indicators so that no one knows I read any of their messages, stop the typing indicator only on my end, attach any file format to a conversation, including PDFs, audio files, and more, and I can also lock specific conversations with the fingerprint. It's great and works like a charm, even on non-rooted devices. You just need to download and install the Patch Messenger app and the Messenger Pro mod off GitHub. Once you have both those apps installed, Facebook Messenger should have those extra goodies. Surprisingly, you can even modify most of your Google apps to unlock unreleased hidden features by downloading GMS flags. Unfortunately, it only works on rooted devices, and no, there isn't any way to get it working on your non-rooted phone, so I'm sorry for that. But with it, I was able to enable things like this floating nap bar within the Google Photos app, which looks and works amazingly. It also automatically groups similar photos that were taken together to clean up the gallery. In Gmail, I now have easy access to the unsubscribe button and a new reply bar at the bottom of any email. I also snuck in a new proofreading mode within Gboard and an undo button. For those living in the States, you can enable call recording within the Google Phone app. I mean, the list goes on and on. If you're wondering how GMS flags can do this, it's honestly not that complicated. It lets you change the parameters within any Google app with the flip of a switch enabling or disabling certain functions. On the homepage, it even provides some excellent suggestions and even lets you know what new changes you get when you tap on view more information. But if you want to dive in deeper and find specific flags to enable or disable, it lets you do so. Finally, I wanted to show you how to properly install the TikTok mod discussed at the beginning of the video. The first thing you need to do is uninstall TikTok if you have it downloaded. From there, go to this Telegram channel called TikTok Mod Cloud. I'll leave that link right below the like button. Join that Telegram so that you always get notified about any new updates. Then scroll up until you see the TikTok plugin message. Depending on when you watch this video, it should be around version 1.2. You'll need to download that by tapping either the download or alternate button. From there, tap on open. Just wait till the counter with the rubber ducky finishes and then tap on the little X in the top right corner, hit open link, 
download for via browser, download file, and install it. Again, this is the TikTok plugin that lets you modify TikTok and add all those extra features. Now we're going to install the main TikTok app by going back into the Telegram channel and scrolling up until you see the latest TikTok mod message that isn't limited to a specific country. As of right now, it's around version 32. It also has four links. I chose to go with the multi-language link. Again, open link and wait till the counter finishes, then press the tiny X. Tap on open link, scroll down and tap on the first green button for the latest TikTok mod version. The next site isn't Russian, but essentially just tap on the first link in the green box. Again, wait for the countdown. Press the X, open link, download for, via browser, download file, and finally it'll download an HTML file. Open that HTML file and it'll launch this Mediafire page. Tap on the download button and hit download anyway. It'll take a minute or two to download because TikTok has such a massive file size, but once it does, you can install it just like the previous APK. From there, you can open it up, give it notification permission if you like that, hit skip, start watching, and you should see a new pop-up message saying that you're using the TikTok Mod Cloud app. That's it, and as promised, you don't need to log in to start watching. Now to actually modify TikTok, go into your home screen's app drawer and search for TikTok plugin. Once you find it, open it, allow it access to your files, and you can start modifying anything you'd like. Each option is pretty self-explanatory too. Hopefully in the future, they make this process a lot simpler to download the TikTok mod, but as of right now, this is the process. Anyways, click this video right here to see other amazing mods that you can download on your phone. If you download at least one social media mod within this video, a quick thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!